When I was in Israel, I visited Kibbutz Be'eri and I was introduced to the Kibbutz by Mira, who showed me her house, which was burned down, and told me the story of her and her family and her husband Yossi. We were devastated to find out that Yossi was executed by Hamas while in captivity, and his body is still being held by the terrorist organization. They told us there are terrorists in, uh, in the kibbutz. We start to get messages. Listen, someone shot my mom, someone shot my dad. There is a lot of blood here, please. The terrorists come inside my house. And in about 12.30, something like this, uh, the terrorists, we hear them from the apartment below. And they just, you know, they trying to open the door. My husband, like, trying to hold so it tight. Dead. And the terrorists get inside the, inside the safe room? In the safe room. Mm -hmm. We told them, please don't shoot us, it didn't harm nobody. And the one of the members looking to my eyes and said, it bachel yahud, like, kill all the Jews. They took us to the road. They were standing there, black car. They got inside the Yossi, Ophir and Amit. Only the boys. My, my daughter said to her boyfriend, listen, Ophir, I love you. Please come back. And two terrorists were like, with the weapons in front of them and they drove away. There are 129 hostages that are still being held by Hamas. Time is running out for them. Bring them home now.